Hello and welcome to SDN Tech Forum. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a very unique feature of Cisco iOS XE. Uh, and this feature is available on uh, uh, Catalyst 9K and ISR 4K and CSR devices. Uh, this capability is called uh, app hosting or guest shell. So a little bit of theory here. What is a guest shell? Guest shell is a virtualized Linux based environment designed to run custom Linux application, including Python for automated control and management of Cisco devices. It also includes the automated pro provisioning day zero of system. This container shall provide a secure environment decoupled from host device in which user can install script or software packages and run them. So basically, this is a uh, Linux container running on top of uh, um, a Cat 9K or any Cisco, uh, Cisco uh, device running iOS XE. So you can, uh, within guest cell, you can host any of your application or it has the native Python capability so that you can run your Python script. There are so many use cases uh, uh, where you can you, know, tr you can trigger a Python script based on uh, the device condition or syslog what you receive uh, from the device itself. So uh, uh, Python wise, um, this is tied to your software itself. So today, three Python modules are available uh, uh, that are the API between guest shell and uh, Cisco iOS XC device. So uh, they are cli.cli, cli.clip, cli.execute, cli.configure, and uh, <coughs> uh, uses is mentioned here. So this cli.cli and then command, this function take, so you can specify your um, iOS, uh, iOS command as an ar argument this command will run on iOS parser and you will get the result as a text just like you are uh, typing it from the command line or CLI itself. Execute, you can, uh, um, uh, it will not print out the resulting te text, you can append it somewhere and then same thing is for con configure, CLI.configure so you can run some configuration commands. P1, P2, P3.CLI that means you can execute multiple commands. So. I want to walk through a, a lab here in this video. This is uh, more like what are the different steps for the lab and in next video I'm going to do follow the same step and give you a demo on a cat 9k box. So what you want to do here is uh, enable guest shell. So uh, guest shell python run in a Alexi container Linux based container. This container is managed by IOX which is a container manager specifically for iOS XE, which is a similar in function of Docker. So you have a Docker um, manager where it, it actually manages all the different containers. So you can spin up different container, you can uh, create container, you can um, um, kill container, you can stop open container, pause container. So all this con container management done by Docker and which is very similar to our iOS manager. Uh, before using guest shell, we must enable IOX and then enable guest shell. So uh, first you start your IOX services and then enable guest shell. And guest shell is where, uh, 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 which is your container and where your Python, script, uh, Python is available natively. So you are prompt to log in. Um, this is like if you have a cat 9k, you just log into that and then run show iOS XE uh, services command and you can see that uh, services is not running. So if it is not running, then go to conf mode and uh, give the command iOS, I, IOX and that will uh, restart the uh, IOX. So you can act also do show um, IOX service and it will tell you uh, the status. Then what you have to do, you have to uh, configure guest shell interface. Uh, so basically you are uh, creating a container guest shell name as a guest shell and assign IP address um, to that um, guest shell and the default gate will, will be shared with with the host so it will have the same subnet IP address um, uh, as of uh, network de uh, device where it is hosted and the same gateway uh, for network connectivity then 
you are going to enable the guest cell so guest cell in enable and um, wait a couple of minutes and one after that you can check that these services are running and activated successfully so you should see this log um, enter the guest shell cli so how you connect to guest shell is uh, just type guest shell and then it will uh, connect you to the uh, lxc container guest shell container and uh, uh, guest shell has uh, direct access to the device file system so you can go see uh, go to the boot flash or flash directory directly from the guest shell and if you want to exit out of it just type exit and you will be back to the CLI so <clears throat> what you can do in guest shell some of the things you can do many things but I'm my focus is only on like uh, on box interactive Python uh, why interactive Python it uh, you can run triggered Python script based on event uh, uh, management like EEM script uh, which monitors syslog and then trigger a Python script but that is uh, probably I'll show you in dif a different video in this video we are going to keep it simple and you connect to your guest shell uh, by saying guest shell run Python uh, and it will land you to the Python mm, um, prompt so this is the Python shell and you so you can see that Python 275 is supported here uh, based on what version you are running your Python version may be different um, it may be 2.7 or uh, something else uh, I'm not sure if uh, Python 3.5 uh, or 6 started shipping uh, with uh, iOS XE so please check uh, when you connect and then after that it is a interactive Python shell so you can say print hello and uh, it will print hello uh, so that that proves that you are in Python uh, so from networking perspective what you can do you can configure or uh, run some show commands directly from Python shell so uh, for that you have to import some module uh, we are importing import CLI uh, from the library and then you can say CLI dot CLI and the command goes as an argument so we are doing a show version here you can see the show version is printed uh, now what you can do you can uh, import another module clip uh, which is uh, uh, which actually uh, appended to the standard output uh, st output uh, uh, is the file where program write the output data so if you are using from cli import clip and then do cli dot clip show version you will see that it's a little bit more formatted than the previous command uh, same thing you can do for configures so uh, cli.configure that means you are you are not sending a configuration level command the, here I am saying interface loop back and assign an IP address just for the demo purpose so uh, once you run this the interface will be configured and if you want to verify just do cli.clip and run, uh, put the show command as an argument you can see loopback 99 is created so uh, that is that mean you don't need a uh, third um, uh, local terminal or something uh, the network device itself is hosting a Linux uh, a VM uh, but th that's not the only feature of uh, guest shell you can do really advanced stuff which we will see in the later video so thank you very much for watching